Good morning, guys. So me and Gabriel are up early this morning, well, early-ish, because we're off out. It's about half past eight. And we're off out to go to a free home education workshop uh, about archaeology, Neolithic archaeology. Oh, Neolithic archaeology. <laughs> So yeah, so we've got a little picnic, so I thought I'd show with you the picnic that we're taking and yeah, we're going to have a good time. It's going to be quite good fun learning some things for free. Okay, so for today's pack lunch, I've got a gluten-free sandwich with cheese and tomato and some gluten-free coffee cake, which I made up. I've got two apples here, one for me and one for Gabriel and Gabriel's pack lunch is, if I open it up, oh, it's fallen out. <laughs> Uh, this this here is a wrap with ham and cucumber and mayonnaise and I cut it in half and wrapped each one individually. Some strawberries and some Jaffa cakes here that he's got. Um, I'm just going to get some juice for Gabriel, make some squash up for him and get some bottled water out as well. So that's our packed lunch for today. So we've come back quite quickly from our... Um, trip to the free ho home education archaeology workshop type thing because we got there and well I don't know if we've been given the runaround but there were two other mums with their children who couldn't find the address that was given the postcode the postcode that we were given we all turned up at the same place and there was no such um, destination as to where we were told to go so um, <clears throat> we've all just gone back home again <laughs> so we're going to sit here and eat our picnic and um, probably just do a few bits of school work here this afternoon um, to make up for it so yeah that's a bit of a shame I don't quite know what happened whether she cancelled it and then didn't bother to tell anyone or something's happened to her I don't know but I don't know I'm not going to say anymore but you know these things happen a bit annoyed because I wasted petrol had to travel a little way a few miles but you know there you go these things happen can't be happy so after this morning's escapades of not being at the workshop because for some reason it didn't seem to be where we were supposed to be it wasn't on I don't know anyway Gable is now doing some schoolwork and he's doing physics and he's learning about circuit components so we're just going through a little workbook here that we're doing so for dinner today we are well my family are having chicken korma for tea just cooking up the chicken to get started and I'm making myself up a vegetable curry and I've got sweet potato, pump, butternut squash, some green beans, peas and some broccoli in here and I'm going to add some mushrooms to this one and um, give this one a stir and then I'm going to add some curry sauce into that. So as I said before I'm no expert at making curry so it always comes from a jar when we make curry in our house and just so you know this is the curry that I'm putting in the dinner okay so today i'm looking at uh ebay for some school books for gable particularly english workbooks um for the ks3 um level which he's at um i just want to get some more but i'm looking at them obviously second hand not brand new or whichever is the cheapest so um this one here i'm just about to look at because i'm just got a science one of the uh the let's um, uh, version I've got the science one which we quite like so I'm going to have a look at that one see if that's any good don't know about this one this one's already bid it's quite I don't know that might go up too high for me <laughs> we're going to start bid in a bidding war so I'm going to look through all of these and see whichever one um, we can get the cheapest so, so I'm also on the prowl for some sociology and media studies books because um, that's what we're going to start this year um, doing some sociology and media studies so that's what we're up to today and Gabriel's in the other room on his laptop and he's just downloading a music program because he's going to be making some music for lunch I'm having the last of the, the vegetable curry that I made the other day um, and I'm having it with a gluten-free bread roll, so oh, on a Christmas plate. Because, you know, how many days is it to Christmas? Less than 100, so why not? Let's have it on a Christmas plate. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> if that don't get you in the Christmas mood, what will? <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, so I've got the vegetable curry leftovers. And um, we like to eat leftovers. Why waste them? Okay guys, I wanted to let you know that I am currently updating the Frugal Living website. 
Okay, so look, this is what you're going to be looking for. Frugal living, it's the simple things. So I'm slowly updating all of this and going through it and there seems to be quite a lot to do actually. I underestimated it. But yeah, this is what I'm doing at the moment. Um, updating the website, making it look a bit more fancy and um, have a little go, click around. That's what's going on here. So yeah, more things going on. So yeah, it looks a bit, oh look, there's me. I'm actually going to change that picture. <laughs> so, um, yeah. so that's what you've got to look for now. It's looking a bit brighter, not so green. Um, but I'm no web designer, so um, it's not perfect. I'm not 100% certain of what I'm doing, but I'm learning on the job. So yeah. So bear with me if there's any links missing or there's anything not quite right or something looks strange. Um, send me a message or comment on Facebook or YouTube or whatever or whatever, wherever you want to send me a message and let me know and tell me what's wrong and I'll see if I can sort it out. So that's what the new Frugal Living web page is gonna website is gonna look like when it's finally finished with a bit of luck. So I've had to go for a little top up on my shopping. Um, we run out of milk really quick and we run out of eggs. I'm really surprised that we run out of eggs really quickly. So I had to go, I went to Morrison's and I just got a few things over here which I'm going to show you in a minute. But um, yeah, I'm really surprised we went through the eggs. Actually no, I'm not really surprised because I made some lovely cakes this week. I made, I did share some cakes that I made my family and a lovely gluten free um, coffee cake which was absolutely delicious. Um, but I'm not surprised that we made went through eggs like crazy because my family wanted cakes and then they wanted some egg mayonnaise sandwiches so I had to boil up some eggs for that and we also went through eggs because my family wanted omelettes. They changed their mind for what was on the meal plan and they wanted some omelettes so um, omelettes were made so pretty much well no not pretty much all the eggs have gone so I was in a supermarket today I had to buy I thought I bought extra milk this week so I bought extra milk and I bought some eggs but anyway look I'll show you so I brought three of the six pinters here so we got six twelve eighteen if my maths is working working correctly unlike my teeth I'm not speaking properly this morning um yeah so I bought quite a lot of the whole milk because my family have whole milk I bought a big jar of coffee because I used the last drop this morning so it's not a branded one, it's the shop brought one, but you know, it's it tastes nice, it's pretty good. And so I've got 24 eggs here. Now my plan is to try and see if I can get them cheaper at a farm shop, so I can get a tray. I don't know how many is in a tray, is it 36 in a tray? Something like that. Anyway, there's more than what I've got here. So anyway, I've got 24 medium eggs, yes, yeah, so I'm hoping to get them at a farm shop so hopefully a i'll get more and cheaper as well but i don't know it might not be so i've got to work that one out and investigate so while i was there i got a swede and i don't know why why do they wrap swedes in this plastic is there any need for it it's a waste isn't it i don't know but anyway i've got a swede and i got some of what they call the wonky vegetables that people apparently don't want to buy but you know i want to buy them because they're cheaper so I've got some parsnips and some swede and I'll tell you what I'm going to do with these. I've got a couple of chicken fillets left over and I'm making my family a chicken casserole tonight and I'm making dumplings with them. So um, yeah, I think I will show you a picture of that. <laughs> I'm going to make myself, I'm going to use the vegetables as well and some other vegetables we've got indoors and I'm going to make myself a vegetable casserole and I'm going to try my hardest to try and make for the first time ever some gluten free dumplings. So we'll see how that goes, but they will be be made of vegetable suet, not the normal suet. So um, I also picked up these in the reduced style because look, as you can see, the dog food, the packet was ripped. There's still six in there, so it should have been three pound, but for two pound twenty five, you can't sniff at that, can you? Really, my dogs will eat that, so that doesn't really matter. Um, I also got these walnuts because I made the coffee cake. Like I said, I think I, if you've seen it, I showed the picture on um, Facebook and whatnot. Uh, anyway, so I bought the walnuts, but I had no, I had no walnuts when I made the coffee cake, and it was missing the walnuts. So <clears throat> I think I might be making another coffee cake, but I better not, not make that too often. <laughs> so anyway, that was my little mini shopping haul, um, just a little top up. Um, 
and oh, hopefully these milks and eggs will last a fair while. So rightio, this is the gluten free dumplings with the vegetable casserole, which is my dinner. And I have actually tried one, I have to say, and they are pretty amazing. So I think I'm gonna put the recipe up on the website. Um, I'll share it with you all. And over here, here's Gabriel's dinner. Um, I'm gonna give him a bit more actually. I haven't given him very much, have I? So he's got just a normal dumpling and they've got chicken casserole here. So in the casseroles, there's, they've got chicken, potato, carrots, peas, green beans, swede and sweet, uh, no, parsnip. Same for me, but without the chicken. So there's some snippets of what we've been getting up to this week. I hope you've found it entertaining and um, enjoyed what we've been getting up to. And um, yeah, so I might do a couple more of these little, is it like tight week in the tight life type thingy <laughs> videos? Um, I don't know. It's not a whole week, is it? Just a few little snippets. But yeah, anyway, so if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below and uh, share your stories. And until next time, you take care and I will see you again soon. Bye.